What's going on YouTube? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over some of the items I picked up this weekend from a local garage sale. Uh, met a real nice guy named Chris. He was literally selling a bunch of stuff. His first time ever doing a garage sale. He's kind of in the unincorporated area of my town and he's moving to Hawaii for a year. So he's like, I can't take all this stuff with me. So he was offering some pretty smoking deals. I actually went there twice. So I went there kind of late in the day, Saturday. And then he's like, yeah, I'm going to open up again the next day. Um, so here's some of the items that I ended up picking up. So one of which, uh, and the prices were just unbelievable. So like I said, I spent like 150 bucks, um, but uh, picked up this vintage glass ashtray, really heavy duty, um, just a nice piece of, you know, from the 60s or 70s. I thought it was cool. And uh, I was happy to see that they actually do sell. And uh, let's see, what else do we sell here? We got uh, another ashtray. Again, I don't know, this this just like reminds me of like back in the day. I'm not, uh, I did smoke cigarettes when I was in my 20s and 30s. I don't anymore, have not for like over 15 years. But um, I just, I don't know, this just reminds me of like, you know, as a kid visiting somebody's uh, grandparents or mom or dad and this is the ashtray or style of ashtray <laughs> they'd be using which i always thought was pretty cool um other items i picked up some interesting ones so they're the you know we're in chicagoland here so got a cool cubs mug here and this one's from 1991 really nice condition very nice thick you know heavy duty mug so looking forward to sharing that with someone else maybe there's other you know there's cubs fans all around the world but some you know this stuff's pretty easy to get around here locally like you go to any garage sale someone's gonna have decent stuff like this but this guy had really nice stuff so these are some Heilemans, um a little old style and uh these glasses were nice because they're very thick on the bottom so happy to pick those up and offer those as a pair the graphics on it were nice they're a little chipped up but that's to be expected with something that old um some other weird stuff i picked up uh like a solitaire game set thing here it was brand new it looked old and it wasn't that old but it's from 2008 there it is or 2009 from daddio productions i don't know it said 20 dollars on it and um <laughs> i couldn't pass that up so and I even told him too. I was like, "Yeah, man, I, I'm really looking to like you know pick some stuff up to resell on eBay. I've kind of like run out of the things in my house to list." And he's like, "Oh yeah." He so he was like super helpful. He's like, "Yeah, I used to do that kind of stuff too." So he was like bringing stuff out that he didn't even have out there. But it was, it was a big house, a really really long driveway. Actually, like the perfect driveway to have a very attractive looking uh, sale. But it's kind of common over in that area. All the driveways are super long. The houses are kind of set back, and they're almost on an acre of land so here's a putter he had um i haven't golfed in quite so many years but i know odyssey is an expensive brand it's probably a hundred dollar two hundred dollar putter back in the day and these are the photos i took of it really nice putter i think this thing was like i don't know five bucks like he like i said i went there when he had the 50 percent off sale and his prices were already amazing and i kind of let him just kind of do all the negotiating Whatever he told me the price was, I paid it. Like I said, the, the grand total between the two days. Um, let's see, Sunday I probably dropped 150 bucks, and then the first day I probably dropped like 50 bucks. Or was it 25? Yeah, under 50 bucks. I had like change too. Like I was all prepared. I like brought like singles and stuff. But he had like old stuff like this too, which I thought was cool. So there's an old school timer from back in the day, and it's brand new. So that's how you. Uh, Set a timer without Alexa, I guess, you know, you put these little tabs here on the hour and the uh, the day and then it turns on at that time and it turns off at that point. And you're literally just plugging in like a, 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 a lamp cord or whatever. So like Home Alone, remember that movie Home Alone? Um, Kevin made the house look like it was all active with people dancing and stuff because he set stuff on timers. I thought that was cool. Um, love, love, love. I'm not a fan of the Cubs hugely, but um, love Greg Maddox. Definitely was a guy I picked up when I was a kid uh, during the junk baseball wax era. So very cool to find this. This actually fits me, but <laughs> I've never worn a Cubs jersey in my life. So I'm like, I'd rather just share it with someone else. But I thought it was really cool and it's authentic. 
So, um, I forgot what that one was. Oh, it was like 20, he had like it marked for 25 and it was half off of that. So literally it was like 25 bucks for both these jerseys and you can't go wrong with Caner here. So this is a straight up, you know, good size, extra large, nice Caner jersey. That's what we call them here, Caner. And this is a legit one too. And, and when you're buying these things too, you got to look at the stitching. So if the stitching's all like jacked up, it's like a China knockoff. Uh, but this one's legit. This from 2013. So again, for $12, whatever, happy to make some dough on that. And uh, I'm going to stop recording here because I don't know if this is working. I'm using StreamYard to share my screen instead of using my little cell phone screen like I do normally when I'm chilling in the garage, having a cigar and sharing some stories with you. But guys, it's 95 degrees and the cicadas are loud. So I figured I'd do this inside my house. So let's see how this uh, recording turned out. And uh, we'll go from there. But I always appreciate you guys watching my channel. Uh, I might even go live too. That'd be cool. I can go live. So again, I downloaded uh, what is this stream Streambird Streamyard. So hopefully this thing works. Let's take a peek. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.